So I want to cover some skills we've been going over with Mr. Gus here. So this first exercise that we've been going over is called Relax on a Mat. And this is for desensitization and counter conditioning. It's any sort of um, situation that might come down the pike that would get him overly excited or anxious. So good. So what we're looking for is initially for him to just engage with the mat and sniff down towards the mat. And um, sorry, so that's that's really step two. So initially we're we're looking for him to just get comfortable with the mat and come on over to the mat. So every time he wanders off and then comes back to the mat and we give him a treat, we're 100 percent silent during this exercise. You're welcome to say Gus's name. It's the only thing that we'll say during this exercise, and that'll get him back on over to the mat. Um, and at that point, then we're looking for him to engage with the mat. So every time he sniffs down towards the mat, then we're going to give him a treat. And then we're looking for him to go into increasingly relaxed body postures. So what that looks like is sniffing down, and then usually they'll offer up a um, SIT as their... Um, their first behavior that they'll offer, and then they'll start sniffing down towards the mat from their SIT, and they'll offer up a DOWN, and then start sniffing down from a DOWN, and then uh, rest their little chin down on the mat <clears throat> is the end result. Some dogs will roll over on their side, which is equally acceptable. Um, so right now, with Mr. Gus, we're at the place where we're understanding that the mat is where the good stuff happens, and sniffing down and engaging with the mat, that's fine and dandy. Um, so what you can do to try to elicit more behavior from him is I'll withhold the treats uh, for a moment. So he sniffed down towards the mat, and then we'll give him you know, a count of 10 seconds and see if he'll give me any sort of different behavior. So as I've been talking, that's about 5 seconds. We'll say 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Good. So at that point... I'll give him another treat for sniffing down towards the mat, if that's where he's at right now. Um, but we want to continue to withhold treats um, for about 10 seconds if he's not uh, continuing to stretch his skill base um, and how far he's going with this, and then give him another shot. So that's about 10 seconds there. We'll give him a treat for sniffing down towards the mat. And just keep giving him an opportunity to see if he will uh, take it a step further. One other thing to take note of is I've got my treats stuffed in my lap here, and that's what you're going to want to do to help him understand that he's not going to get treats by um, good job, by pawing or digging at your lap or uh, engaging with you. Um, and I also try not to um, pet the pup when, they're, when we're doing this exercise or engage with them too much. Um, and I really want to allow him to go internally and good job, buddy learn that he has uh, um, his own capacity to work through this 100% on his own accord. Just the difference between, you know, watching someone drive a car, driving a car yourself, it's way different if he's got to work through this 100% on his own. So in a nutshell, this is going to give Mr. Gus emotional intelligence and allow him to work through situations that can um, get him anxious or stressed out. That's why we really stress this exercise. Um, I've had folks use this for dog-friendly hotels, for plane rides, and um, if he runs into any sort of situation in the future, let's say uh, garbage trucks get him wound up, then on the days that the garbage truck comes, you can do relax on a mat and hang out at, the, at a distance for Mr. Gus to where he sees it, and um, his body language is going to be telling him, hey, everything's A-OK, -okay. this is nothing to um, get too worked up or stressed about. Uh, so, if you notice here, he's trying to <laughs> go in my lap. He's trying to figure out if that's how he can get treats, and I just need to let him know that that's not, um, that's not how you're going to get treats. So, he's back over towards the mat. We'll give him a treat. Good job. Very good. Um, so, just continue to try to see how far we can get him to. And if just during, if during the week all he does is come on over to the mat and sniff it, hang out there for a while, that's fine and dandy. Um, we just want to continue to stretch him further and further and see what else he will offer up. So that is our uh, relax on the mat exercise and um, we'll keep on working with him and um, see
seeing what we can get from this little cutie on this exercise. So good job, Mr. Tress.